Welcome to Ramble Bush's Coffee. We're with Bob Cole today. Good morning again, Chief. Um, I believe it's very necessary to talk about an, a situation that we have in our all over the country, but but right in our very very close back door, and that is the situation with juveniles in today's society. Can't remember exactly which day it was, uh, but about a week ago. Uh, while uh, while I was incarcerated in the in the Marion County Jail, the block that I was in, or the hopefully everyone knows what I mean by that, the block that I was in had 50 beds in it, and it was full, like all the other blocks were full. Across the uh, corridor from us was the juvenile uh, block, and that block had 40 beds in it. 20 rooms, two per man, two men, <laughs> two per room. And um, one night, right after dinner, about 7, 7.30, they came over the loudspeaker and said, everybody pack your bags, bed and baggage. Pack everything up. You're moving dorms. Everyone is moving dorms. Come to find out that they had to switch us, uh, the 50-bed block for the 40 bed block because they had too many juveniles and they needed more room for that. Now these are juveniles that have done some type of situation where oh, they're in an adult world as far as the judicial system is concerned. And so that was alarming enough for most of us that they needed more room because they had more juveniles to incarcerate. But after it was all said and done and we made the switch, the walls in the dorms, in, I'm sorry, in, the, uh, in each individual cell, again, a two-man cell, I guess the best word I could use is incredibly sad. The negative, horrific, I'm not using that word lightly, demonic, gang-related, hate, fear, sadness, dot, 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 of the words and the messages that were on those walls. Listen, folks, we really have to do something about that. 